the von Mises yield criterion suggests that the yielding of materials begins when the second deviatoric stress invariant reaches a critical value. For this reason, it is sometimes called the plasticity or flow theory. It is part of the plasticity theory that applies best to ductile materials, such as metals. Prior to yield, material response is assumed to be elastic. In materials science and engineering the von Mises yield criterion can be also formulated in terms of the von Mises stress or equivalent tensile stress, a scalar stress value that can be computed from the Cauchy stress tensor. In this case, a material is said to start yielding when its von Mises stress reaches a critical value known as the yield strength. The von Mises stress is used to predict yielding of materials under any loading condition from results of simple uniaxial tensile tests. The von Mises stress satisfies the property the two stress states with equal distortion energy have equal von Mises stress. Because the von Mises yield criterion is independent of the first stress invariant, it is applicable for the analysis of plastic deformation for ductile materials such as metals, as the onset of yield for these materials does not depend on the hydrostatic component of the stress tensor. Although formulated by Maxwell in 1865, it is generally attributed to Richard Edler von Mises. Titus Maximilian Huber, in a paper in Polish, anticipated to some extent this criterion. This criterion is also referred to as the Maxwelle Euro Huber Euro Hinke Euro von Mises theory. Mathematical formulation Mathematically, the von Mises yield criterion is expressed as Where is the yield stress of the material and pure shear? As shown later in this article, at the onset of yielding, the magnitude of the shear yield stress in pure shear is ash three times lower than the tensile yield stress in the case of simple tension. Thus, we have. Where is the yield strength of the material? If we set the von Mises stress equal to the yield strength and combine the above equations, the von Mises yield criterion can be expressed as or substituting with terms of the Cauchy stress tensor components. This equation defines the yield surface as a circular cylinder whose yield curve, or intersection with the deviatoric plane, is a circle with radius, or this implies that the yield condition is independent of hydrostatic stresses. Reduced von Mises equation for different stress conditions. The above equation can be reduced and reorganized for practical use in different loading scenarios. In the case of uniaxial stress or simple tension, the von Mises criterion simply reduces to, which means the material starts to yield when reaches the yield strength of the material, and is in agreement with the definition of tensile yield strength. It is also convenient to define an equivalent tensile stress or von Mises stress, which is used to predict yielding of materials under multiaxial loading conditions using results from simple uniaxial tensile tests. Thus, we define where are the components of the stress deviator tensor? In this case, yielding occurs when the equivalent stress reaches the yield strength of the material and simple tension. As an example, the stress state of a steel beam and compression differs from the stress state of a steel axle under torsion, even if both specimens are of the same material. In view of the stress tensor, which fully describes the stress state, this difference manifests in six degrees of freedom, because the stress tensor has six independent components. Therefore, it is difficult to tell which of the two specimens is closer to the yield point or has even reached it. However, by means of the von Mises yield criterion, which depends solely on the value of the scalar von Mises stress, that is, one degree of freedom, this comparison is straightforward. A larger von Mises value implies that the material is closer to the yield point. In the case of pure shear stress, while all other von Mises criterion becomes. This means that, at the onset of yielding, the magnitude of the shear stress in pure shear is times lower than the tensile stress in the case of simple tension. The von Mises yield criterion for pure shear stress, expressed in principal stresses, is. In the case of plane stress, the von Mises criterion becomes. This equation represents an ellipse in the plane, as shown in the figure above. The following table summarizes von Mises yield criterion for the different stress conditions. Notes. Subscripts 1, 2, 3 can be replaced with x, y, z, 
or other orthogonal coordinate system, shear stress is denoted here as. In practice it is also denoted as, physical interpretation of the von Mises yield criterion, Hienke offered a physical interpretation of von Mises criterion suggesting that yielding begins when the elastic energy of distortion reaches a critical value. For this, the von Mises criterion is also known as the maximum distortion strain energy criterion. This comes from the relation between and the elastic strain energy of distortion, with the elastic shear modulus. In 1937 Arpad Nade suggested that yielding begins when the octahedral shear stress reaches a critical value, that is the octahedral shear stress of the material at yield and simple tension. In this case, the von Mises yield criterion is also known as the maximum octahedral shear stress criterion in view of the direct proportionality that exists between and the octahedral shear stress, which by definition is. Thus we have. Comparison with Tresca yield criterion, also shown in the figure as Tresca's maximum shear stress criterion. Observe that Tresca's yield surface is circumscribed by von Mises's. Therefore, it predicts plastic yielding already for stress states that are still elastic according to the von Mises criterion. As a model for plastic material behavior, Tresca's criterion is therefore more conservative. See also, yield surface. Henri Tresca, Mu Coulomb theory, yield, stress, strain, 3D elasticity, references, von Mises, a mechanic der Fessen car paragraph a PER in plastiche deformable zustand. Gar paragraph TTIN. NACHR. Math. Fes, Volume 1, pages 582 a Euro 592. Ford, Advanced Mechanics of Materials. Longmans, London, 1963, A. B. Hill, are the mathematical theory of plasticity. Oxford, Clarendon Press, S. M. A. Cars Me Solid Mechanics. Tater McGraw Hill. ISBN 0 07 451715 5. 5. M. Huber, Specii C. Work of Strain as a Measure of Material A. Euro Ort, to Zistro Polytechnic, Xaz. Technic, War Cube W, 1903.